Hey everybody, it's Kaylin here with My Fair Daily. So today I wanted to share this awesome thing I've been doing with another UK girl now for a little bit. Um, we actually started it around Christmas time, but we've been doing um, a bit of box exchanges with one another. So basically how it goes is I send her products that she cannot get in the UK and then she sends me products that I cannot get in America. So they've just been kind of like drugstore finds right now. That's all we've been really interested in exchanging with each other. So this box exchange actually started in part because of Gemma Turner from Miss Makeup Magpie. She actually hosted kind of a secret Santa box exchange on her blog around Christmas time that me and Shawnee actually participated in. It was so much fun. I really loved it. And so we just decided that we were going to continue doing it after Christmas and just do it every couple months or something, just sending stuff to one another. I think it's really fun. It's a great way to meet people. If you guys have not, you know, thought about doing this yet, you definitely should. Just find somebody in another country, or it can even be in the same country if you really wanted to, but just find someone to do kind of like, almost like a pen pal slash product pal exchange with. Um, we just, we absolutely love it. I love getting my box and seeing all the awesome things that she picked out for me. So, so if you guys cannot tell, she got me a lot of awesome stuff this month. I mean, wow. She went crazy, and I kind of went crazy for her too, I'm not going to lie. I was really excited for the kind of stuff that she wanted in her box, and I was really excited to get the stuff that she knew that I really wanted in mine too. So, yeah, anyways, that's probably totally confusing the way I said that. Um, but when I first opened the box, I got this adorable little note from her, so I need to remember to like kind of do those myself. I think I did it in the last one, like do like little thank you notes and whatnot, but I thought this was really cute touch. Um, it's definitely, like I said, a way to really get to know people and meet people, so I highly recommend doing a box exchange yourselves. So the first thing I'm pulling out here actually is this, it's, I don't know if it's necessarily a sample size, but it's something kind of fun. It's these Wicked Lips. These are lip tattoos. So I think that it's like really cute. It's safe and non-toxic. Um, and then the brand is Red Hot Wicked Lips. So I think these are really cute. Um, these are like humongous lips though, like I don't know. <laughs> I guess like I don't I don't know maybe it's like for every lip size possible like one size fits all but I think this is cute I'll definitely you know try it out for the fun of it so the next thing I'm pulling out and I'm actually wearing it on my face today and it was like the one thing I really really wanted to try out from the UK and it's the bourgeois foundation this is the healthy mix radiance reveal foundation um, I have just been like loving this since UK bloggers always talk about this unfortunately I can't get it you know in the US unless I go on eBay or something and I pay like twice the price of what it's actually worth so I wanted Shani to actually check this out for me and see if she could get it for me you know in the UK and in my beauty box she wasn't sure what to send me you know shade wise obviously since she's never actually seen me um, so she sent me the shade let me find it here she sent me sent me the shade vanilla Claire or light vanilla um, and I think it actually matches my skin pretty well, um, especially now with the summertime. It's maybe even a shade a little bit darker than what I normally go, but that's fine because now that it's becoming spring summertime, I definitely need to go a little bit darker. I really, really like this foundation a lot. It's definitely a medium coverage foundation, kind of like um, the one I'm using right now, which is like the L'Oreal, um, the powder to, or the, sorry, the liquid to powder. <laughs> The L'Oreal Liquid to Powder Foundation, which I absolutely love, but it's definitely, again, a medium coverage. I think it smells amazing, though. Like, the best smelling foundation I've ever had in my entire life. It smells absolutely awesome. And then I apply it with my um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So I really, really like this. I'm really, really happy. This is probably one of my favorite things in the entire box. So the next thing I'm pulling out are these Evie My Loose Powder um, Eye Shimmers, and I have four of them that she sent me, and they're all, like, these really pretty, like, spring-like bright colors, so I'm definitely excited to try them. Like I said, they are loose pigments, so I'll try to get some out of the jar so you guys can actually see it. Or actually, better yet, why don't I just swatch them on my hand for you real quick so you can see what they look like. So this is the purple one right here. These don't have actual, like, names to them for some reason. I mean, I, if they do, I can't find them, but like I said, it's like a very loose pigmented powder in the pot. Um, definitely very buildable coverage. Um, these are kind of, I have not really tried a lot of these things out yet, so these are a lot of first impression kind of reviews right now, but I think this is very pretty and it's like, you know, a great pop of color for when you want something colorful going on. Here's the blue one. This is the Evie My Blue Loose Pigmented Eye Shimmer. Um, all these do contain some kind of glitter to them, especially the purple one. The blue one, 
Not as much, but um, I, like I said, these are great buildable colors. Um, I definitely like had to swatch this like on my finger a couple times to build up the color of it, which I like. It's not like incredibly pigmented right away, so you can kind of play with it a little bit. Because colors for me are kind of one of those things I really have to experiment and play with because they kind of tend to freak me out a little bit. I like my neutrals. So this one here is a lot more pink than the purple one. Um, again, nice transition, maybe combining the two together or um, using it as like kind of a base shade. Uh, Again, this one's pretty shimmery as well. Definitely a lot more shimmery than the blue. About as shimmery as the purple one. Then the last one is this like aqua minty blue color. Um, this one seems to be the least pigmented out of all of them, but I think it's like incredibly pretty. Um, so maybe it's a, like a light wash over my eyelids. Um, out of all of them, I think the blue one's probably definitely my favorite, or the purple one. I think it's the most wearable. Um, this one I was like hoping would be a lot more pigmented, but we'll see. Uh, maybe if a primer it'll last a lot longer and be a lot more pigmented. So sticking with the eyeshadow trend, she grabbed me these two eyeshadows from Boots. These again are very colorful and pretty. The first one is called Viva Diva and it's just this pretty, again, aqua blue color. Let me swatch it for you guys real quick. These ones are definitely like, um, like a, like a sh definitely shimmery but more of like a, like a velvet or a satin shimmer to them. That one right there is the Viva Diva. So I think it's incredibly pretty. Again, she's given me like tons of colors to play with this month and um, I will definitely have to be trying these out because summertime and spring and yeah, it's like the best time to try out different colors. And then this one she grabbed me is called Superstar and it's just this pretty kind of a green, forest green color. So there it is right there and I'm actually really impressed with how incredibly pigmented these are. I hardly had to like run my finger across the color and swatch it on my arm and it just comes up incredibly pigmented. Again, this one's called Superstar, the same kind of a satin golden finish to it. So probably the second favorite thing that I got in the box is this Max Factor International Coal Eye Pencil. Um, it's in this really pretty like cobalt blue shade and let me swatch it right here on my arm for you guys to see. It's definitely one of those pencils that you have to warm up because it's kind of like a very hard pencil, but it's just so freaking pretty. I'm like obsessed with cobalt blue. You guys know that I've done plenty of eye looks with that kind of a color and I think that this eye pencil is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think it will definitely be a compliment to a lot of makeup looks that I will be doing, you know, in the future. Um, I think it'll be perfect for like a smoky eye when you just want to add kind of that pop of color to your eyelid or even underneath the eye just for, again, that pretty pop of cobalt blue color. So I'm in love with this pencil. I'm definitely going to be utilizing it quite a bit. Okay guys, so two more eye products in the box. This one is the Starry Eyes Glitter Liner and this is again from Boots. Um, I don't really use glitter liners that much but that's just because I've never really bought them. Um, this is actually in the shade Moon Rock. And it is very pretty. It's um, definitely like one of those you have to build a little bit though. Um, the brush is kind of like one of those longer brushes. So it might be a shade that I kind of put over another liner. Um, like if I put down a black first and then I'll put this over just for a little bit of glitter on my eyelid. So yeah, there you guys can see it a little bit better hopefully. And then she sent me these Ted Baker Beauty London um, False Eyelashes. Um, I'm trying to get the glare off the screen, there it goes. So if you can see, they're just very natural looking eyelashes, very, not very, you know, high maintenance looking lashes. I think they're very, very pretty. I'm actually wearing some falsies today. I'm sure you guys can't tell because I'm not super duper close to the camera. So the next thing I'm pulling out is this Ultimate Volume Lip Gloss, and this again is a Boots product, and it is in the shade Fuzzy Yellow Petal, Petal Flutter. I don't know if that's like all one long title for it. But I think it's really, really pretty. Um, it comes with a doe foot applicator. Doesn't really have a smell to it, which I guess is a good thing. But I will swatch it on my hand so you guys can see. So it's a very pretty, like, you know, kind of a mauve pink color to it. Um, I'm wondering because if it says, like, you know, ultimate volume, if it's kind of like a plumping lip gloss. Um, like I said, I don't smell any mint in it or anything. I know that usually helps plump up the lips, but I will definitely let you guys know how I like this. I think it's a very pretty color. I think it would go really well with a couple different lipsticks that I'm really loving right now. Next couple things I'm going to pull out. I haven't actually taken out of the packages yet, so I don't have swatches of them for you. 
um, and they're in like hef like heavy duty packaging that I would have to probably like cut into with scissors. So I'm just gonna show them to you guys. And you again, leave me comments below if you guys have used these yourself and you absolutely love them. The first one is this Bourjois Paris. Um, I'm assuming this is a a cream eye and a cream lip color. Um, it's in this really pretty pink. Um, I'm wondering if I can actually use this on the cheeks too, or if it's like too shimmery. So the next thing is, is again, this is Bourjois. The next couple things I'm going to pull out are Bourjois. Um, this is the BB Gloss 5-in-1. This is for medium skin, which I'm, again, I'm very pale, but we'll see how it works out for me. I think it's a really pretty coral color. Hopefully, again, it's a very buildable kind of thing, so I could put it on a lot more sheer to start with and see how I like it. So I've heard UK bloggers rave about these a lot, and they are the Bourjois. Um, I believe these are both gel nail polishes. If not, I know this one I think for sure is. I don't know because these are like in French and I can't actually understand the packaging, but I think these are really pretty colors. Definitely not something I already have in my nail collection right now. So the last full size product is this Ted Baker London Beauty. This is a very pretty, um, it looks like a bronzer. Um, like a very light one or maybe it's more of like an illuminator and it has this pretty stamp in it which are um, here, I'll tilt it down for you guys. They're like ballet shoes or ballet like dancer shoes. So I think it's really, really pretty. I'm definitely excited to try it out and see what it actually is. So when I put it on my hand, it definitely looks like a bronzer. But it looks like not one like you would contour with. It definitely looks like an all-over cheek color. Um, so it's right there. So I think it's a very light, like very nice peach bronzer color. And the last couple things are these samples that she packed up for me. The first one is this Givenchy Angel and Demon. This is a perfume, so I'm assuming it's um, like a perfume wipe, so you wipe like you dab it on your skin. Um, again, I haven't opened these yet, so I will let you know how I like them. Um, this one is another perfume. It is Givenchy for her Eau de Perfume. And then this one, again, is Angel and Demon. It's just a different color one, so I'll try that one out. And then this one is Magic Touch Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk. Um, this is a body cream. So it looks very interesting. It sounds actually really yummy, but um, I will try this out and let you guys know. So that is it for my international beauty box that I got from Shani. So thank you very much. I absolutely loved everything in it. I hope you liked everything in yours as well. So I will keep doing posts like these when I get these boxes so you guys can see what I'm getting from the UK. I hope it inspires you guys to want to find a UK, not a pen pal, it's like a beauty pal, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope you guys are inspired to find one yourselves, meet new people. So I hope you guys liked this video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to put out videos every week um, as well as regular blog posts. You can check out my blog. It's www.myfairdaily.com as well as I will link below all of my social media for you guys to check out. Um, I've been loving my... Facebook, obviously, like always. Um, I've been Instagramming a lot more lately, for once. Um, Twitter. Uh, I've been Pinterest crazy as well. So please follow me on all those below so you never miss another post from My Fair Daily. So guys, this concludes my video, but I will see you in my next one. Bye, everybody.